you make mistakes and just overcome it, just keep going. Don't be defined by one bad tweet or, or by one bad photo. Just keep going. What you do with a bad photo is just have a hundred good ones come right behind you. All right, great. Uh, the show, he was working for me, and then suddenly one day he had on his internet site a big bag of weed smoking blunts. Oh, and he no. Said he was Judge Mathis' assistant. And he doesn't live in Colorado. And he doesn't work for me anymore, you know, <laughs> unfortunately. All right. Do you use social media? No, right. No, so no. Because you ice cube, right? Yeah. <laughs> Today was a good day every day. Not every day, but uh, most of the days. All right. Have you ever? Very careful. All right. And how I use all media. Okay, and how do you think young people can recover from a social hiccup or blunder? Yeah. I think at the end of the day, it's like everything in life. It's understand what you did, what the problem was, correct it, and move on. All right, and did you tweet out any? You mess up, you got to go to the erase button. Beep. Just delete it? Delete it and hope nobody saw it. Do you ever pretend somebody hacks your Facebook or hacks your Twitter? No, I don't do that. No, but I know well, I had a lot of people call me a lot of bunch of names that they shouldn't have been calling me because what social media does is both elevate the best in our culture, but it also reinforces some of the bigotry that's out there. Some people can't stand to have an intelligent, articulate black person express themselves and then without the kind of rancor and viciousness that they put forth. But beyond that, we, we have to uplift and accentuate the positive and highlight those things that are great. And what to do these past years is, is have a consistency that people know that if I'm going to watch him, I don't know what he's going to do, but I know it'll be good, whatever that thing is, because it may be many, many, many projects, but we know that it'll be a consistent level of good.